without the surgical treatment, these individuals unfortunately have a very terrible quality of life and they will be unable to perform the regular functional activities and eventually will result in their demise. So one of the procedures that has been available uh, for several years is aortic valve bypass. And aortic valve bypass is, as the picture has shown, is when you connect the apex of the heart via a, a conduit, which is an artificial graft. This artificial graft has a valve built inside it, and you connect the apex of the heart to the actual lower part of the aorta, which is called the descending aorta, as you can see in there. Uh, the apex of the heart is connected to the descending aorta, so you're creating a, a different outlet for blood to leave the heart. So if you still leave the valve up here that's narrowed, but however now blood is able to leave the heart through a different outlet, so you, in other words, as the name applies, you're bypassing the actual aortic valve. The type of valve that's inside this conduit is a valve that has been used regularly for regular aortic valve replacements. Therefore, all we're doing is creating a different way by which blood can leave the heart and provide the individuals with the blood flow they need in terms of being able to have normal functional capabilities. Now, this procedure, uh, using conventional instrumentation in the past, was quite scary and challenging because, as you see, this picture is you have to core a hole in the heart muscle, and then generally you stick a balloon in there to basically prevent the blood from expelling out, and then you have to immediately, very quickly, insert the end of this tube graft into that hole you've created. So hence, blood loss, as was mentioned by Ms. Adams, was quite a lot and was a scary procedure where a lot of individuals, such as surgeons ourselves, would get scared from doing it. So the procedure was not very well accepted in the cardiac surgery community. A very few numbers of these operations were being performed. But however, with the creation of this Corex device, which uh, the next video will show the way it works, we're able now much safer create the opening inside the chamber of the heart and to insert this artificial tubing into the heart chamber. So this just ex 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 explains it. The device comes in, cores, a balloon and it opens up, and it goes in, it's a knife. The knife basically pours a hole inside the muscle and immediately the balloon retracts backward to prevent the blood and then this graft is pushed over this particular gun into the device so therefore there's no blood or very minimal amount of blood that will be expelled outwards and hence allows us to do this procedure much safer 